Amjad. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, what's up, Amjad? Yes, can you hear me? I can hear you, sir. What's, what's going on? A quick question. Did you study uh did you study the uh Middle Ages at all? Or what the Europe terms as the Dark Ages? Of course I have, yes. I have. Why? Yeah. So that that flex have held in that uh empire? It was actually the age of of the Ottoman Empire. Are you familiar at all with the positions that black people had in that empire? What's your point, bro? You got to get to the point. Yeah, so, because I, I don't want to guess that's a no or yes. Guessing. I don't know. You know, you're just saying random at random questions that's unrelated to anything that has to do with anything. What is your point, sir? I don't want to ask, just have you ramble off nonsensical questions that don't mean anything. You're just saying shit. Do you have a point, sir? What's your point? <laughs> Why do you get offended? All I, all I heard you say was slur that other gentleman. And he kept his cool. Asking you All you did was just show I, I, your lack of maturity and self-control. No, Mr. White Man, I want you to get to the point. You're just rambling. Debunking people is self-control, like yourself. Get to the point. You're not going to just call up asking random trivia questions. It doesn't work like that, sir. We don't have that kind of time. It's a question. You can't answer a now, question and I'm not white. You throw what are you, around. sir? Answer the question. Now, what are you? What are you? What are you? What are you? <laughs> Why does it matter? So you can categorize because, me and use because, your bias. Because I asked you want to categorize because, instead of use intelli intelligence and intellect. Because, That's what okay, you want to do. So now, anybody who's ashamed, of you're, where you're what from, Malcolm you're calls a house in Negro. You're 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 not at liberty to ask anybody anything, sir. You're ashamed of where you fled from, sir. You understand? And what about the Middle Ages? What did your lineage have to do with the Middle Ages or Europe in the Middle Ages? What does your lineage have to do with that? I'm Jod. Hop on. I'm Jod with your janky phone. You can't even afford a good phone. I'm Jod. I don't block you, dude. I didn't block you. All right, he bounced. Yeah, you're not going to call up asking random trivia questions. What about the Ottoman Empire? Dude, get to the point. Don't ask me about no damn Ottoman Empire and all this bull bullshit. That got to do with anything. Emperor. Hop on, Emperor. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, man? I'm I just wanted to ask real quick, right? You know, you're 50 years old, bro. Why are you still grifting your people, man? Like, what's up with that, bro? Why are you projecting? I'm not projecting, bro. I'm not pretending to that's be pro-black, you know? That's a, that's a tether projection. Your tether is always projecting your scams. So why? What you do you have to tether onto, bro? You're projecting your scams, sir, because you come from a scam society, right? Which is? Somewhere in East Africa. No, I'm not East African, bro. Yes, you are. I hear your accent. Yeah, bro. I mean, I hear whatever, bro. Niggas are dumb, bro. But, um, hear... yeah, bro, like, I just want to know, you know, like, why do you grift, bro? Like, because that's, that's not what... right, man. You're projecting, sir. Why do you project your scam mentality onto us, sir? I mean, uh, East Africans aren't really known for scamming, bro. That's not Jerry's, bro. You, ain't. you might want to get your stereotypes in order, bro. Oh, all of y'all are known for scamming. Y'all got a scam stereotype about you, sir. But on the serious note, though, I, I support, like, on, on delineation, though. No, 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 no. I support on hush, nigger. On a serious note, you guys have a reputation for being known scammers, dude, and y'all try to project that onto us. All right, why cool. Not a problem. Why y'all like to project on us so much? Huh? And you're yelling the N-word. That's not offensive to me, sir. It is offensive, bro. No, That's why you're muting. It, uh, no, it's not offensive. As <laughs> long, long as I'm not a fleeing nigga, I'm good. Listen, bro. 
our ancestors sold yours off for a reason, you know. Right. They delineated first, you know, like we want nothing to do with you niggas, bro. Like that's just what it is, man. Well, sir, you haven't done anything with the money you sold. You didn't get no deodorant or nothing. Look at you. You musty and running. So you you didn't flip the money. Now look at you. You hungry on an inner tube, floating to Italy somewhere, trying to put some Joloff on your, your pasta. Look at you. Mad at foundational black America. And you use the same jokes over and over, bro. Yes, it's indeed. Funny, you got the same must over and over. It's the same must and gonna get the same jokes. That's uh, how all right. Just stop grifting, bro. That's that, that's my only thing, bro. You know. All right, but go ahead. I donated that. like fifty dollars like, like a couple but, years ago. I want my fucking money back, nigga. But, but I want my money back, bro. You trying to say nigga with a hard end, okay, and you're blacker than me, so you're talking. Bro, about I'm not black, bro. Like what the yes, fuck? You are. Yes, you are. Bro, sir. Us, you're black, bro. What the sir, fuck? sir, you're talking about yourself and your person. Listen, man. I'm yes, not racially black. I don't have a Negro at skull like you, bro. You know, yes, I'm you not do. black, bro. Yes, I don't you know do. what you're talking about, bro. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, sir. You look like a clown. about projecting, bro. Yeah, yeah, and you're trying to sound like a foundation of black American using slang. You're a wannabe. You're a wannabe tether. Somewhere musty, probably wearing a G <laughs> t shirt. Look at you. You want to be us so bad, but you can't. You ain't got that Majora spirit. You got that musty spirit. So let me let you go with that musty spirit. Trying to use our slang and lingo. Barmina, let me ask Barmina real quickly. Because I know I was talking to Barmina earlier. Barmina, real quickly, hop on real quick. Let me ask you something real quick. Barmina. Barmina. Hey, what's up again, man? Bar, uh, Bar, is that you in the photo uh, on your profile? No, nah, this is not me. This is a footballer. It's so who? this is me. This is a football player. This guy looks more like you than me. No? I'm not like... Oh, okay. So you, you like it. Africa. Like cosplay is black folks. Okay. All right. Mm. I just wanted to ask that. Okay. Well, you, you guys are just, you're tethering on to everything. Y'all love tethering on to shit. Y'all have to tether on to shit and cosplay when you're ashamed of your culture. That's why that that anger is for us. See, we don't have a cultural shame. You're always trying to look into foundational Black American culture when your culture is in shambles to the point where you don't even want to claim it. Lord. All right. We are in here heavy. We are in here very heavy, ladies and gentlemen. Got almost 800 people in the building. All right, let's get um, Kamo Love. Chamo Love, I think that's your name. Chamo Love. Uh -huh. And then we'll get, um, I don't know what your name is, brother. Belogi. All right, let's get Belogi. What's up, Belogi? Belogi? Yeah, well, who who am I talking? There's a bunch of y'all in here. Hold on. Oh, who wait, who is this? Wait, who's Belogi? Okay, there's somebody named Belogi. I thought it was you. Now what's now what's your name? Yo, why they turn your ass up today, man? The only person getting their ass tore up is your granddad at the nah, green. Nah. Now now what's hey, your name? Stop, stop. Tep is always trying to act like you ain't taking an L. <laughs> your Tep is, you're not fooling anybody. Y'all take your L. You're not fooling anybody. Tethers love pretending that their whole tether, life... Tether, tether. I got an African okay, name, stop. by the way. You got an Arabic stop. name. And stop pretending that y'all ain't taking L's left and right. All right? We, we are showing you, nigga. No, that shit don't work. Y'all taking L's. You're coming in lying. You're getting, yeah, all you do is... You're getting, you're getting debunked left and right and then fleeing from topic to topic just like you flee from country to country. You guys are the That's embodiment true. of... You're the embodiment of taking L's, sir. And you another one. All right? You another... Just like you flee from south to north. Great. We the same. No, no, yes, no, no. Yes, yes. We don't flee from anywhere. I can still yes, go to the good. south. I still go to the south. You can't go back home. Well, I was born here, so what you trying to say? Nigga, you were not born here with that fucking accent. What the hell are you talking about? 
Everyone got an accent to you, bro. No, no, nigga, you were not born here with that damn accent. I was born in New York. Nigga, no, you weren't. You fled to New York. You know, you weren't born in New York, not with that accent, nigga. Nobody you fled were, shit. You were not born in New York. You fled to New York, and you better thank foundational black Americans for making it habitable for you to flee to it. Why everything got to do with foundational black Americans? Because, nigga, we built this shit for you to flee to with your disrespectful fleeing ass. That's why. Did I disrespect you? You guys come in with nothing but disrespect for foundational black Americans. And if it weren't for us, you'd be somewhere with flies on your stomach. Do you realize you got a superiority complex? No, I don't. Yes, you do. But no, I, we check tethers. You're not going to be disrespectful. Where at did all. I disrespect you? Nigga, you came in being disrespectful. Let me tell you something. All I said was you it know, was tearing no, your no, ass up. Nigga, it was true. No, nigga, you usually no, no, funny. No, 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 um, um, Damiano, let me tell you something. You tethers will not disrespect any foundational black American under no circumstance. I want y'all to understand that part of the game. You don't get to disrespect any foundational black Americans at all. When you over here eating off us, my dude, you don't do that. That's not tolerated in any sense of the word. You don't get to disrespect at all. I got a question. Why you piggyback off African history and then disrespect them? What history did I piggyback off of? The Moors. How did I piggyback off of it? Bro, this whole time you was talking about the Moors did this. Black they did. did. This whole time it's the Moors. Be specific. It's the Moors, right? Africans, yeah. right? I talk about black history. It's not, it's not African Americans. Damiano, I talk about global black history all around the world, not just the Moors. And then you want to shit on black people all across the world. Who did you I shit pick on? A side. Who did I shit on? You shit on Africans every chance you get. That's a lie. I get on That's you. That's not a lie. You do you, it every time. You, you tether get. shit on. You tether shit on Africa by fleeing it and leaving in shambles. You're the main. Well, you, shit well, you, the, well, you fled the south, dude. Ain't nobody fled no south. How I flee the south and my family home is still there. How? Well, by that logic, my family home still in Africa. So what's your point? Nigga, that hut don't mean shit. And we got a bigger crib than you. Oh, don't bigger start crib that than you. That's Zamunda. a fact. Don't start that Prince That's of Zamunda fact. shit. Don't start That's that Prince fact. of Zamunda. No, no, no. Y'all yeah. don't do the, that. The crib Ain't we no, can no, build no, over no, there. I don't want to hear all that Prince of Zamunda bullshit. That don't work no more. Y'all stop with all of that. We, I live in a palace. In reality, back. No, in reality. No, nigga. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Prince Akeem. You don't run Prince Akeem. No, 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 no. You don't have a big house in nowhere in Africa. Stop with that lie. Show us your big house Y'all gonna stop with the lie. No, you don't. If you had a big ass house, you would be over there enjoying it. You wouldn't be in a section eight. You wouldn't be you wouldn't be in a section eight apartment in Brooklyn somewhere. Prince Akeem pretending to be poor, driving an Uber so that nobody can know about your wealth. No, we ain't falling for that banana in the tailpipe. Baba Tunde. So please stop that lie. Hey, we we taking our money and we building our cribs up back. You home. ain't building nothing. You ain't Be building nothing. At it. Got 20 niggas living in that apartment over there and y'all share the same car rotating Uber shifts. You're not balling out nowhere, sir. So let's stop that game. All right? Let's not play that game. I don't want to hear that Prince of Zamunda nonsense. Y'all love telling that lie. Back in Africa, you got all of these palaces and shit. Stop it. We ain't, nobody's going for that no more, guy. Stop you that. You said Stop all that. you seen was propaganda. Stop that. Yeah, we all see you, you fleeing. We, dude, dude, you done fled and you over here driving Uber. Nobody Stop fled shit. Them. I was born here. You mad I was you're born a, here. You're an anchor baby. You and, mad and I was you. born here. You're an anchor baby, nigga. You mad I got the you're chance a, to be born here. You're an anchor head. baby. It was black people who even fought for the 14th Amendment so that you can be an anchor baby. So you're I welcome, my G. You're welcome. If it weren't for the black grassroots fighting for the I don't earth, give a fuck. Who, I know who, you who, don't, you monkey tether, with your little disrespectful asses. That's why we letting y'all get beat at the border. 
That's why we ain't caping for you no more. Hey, hey, I'm in New York, fine. I know, I yeah, yeah. You're like, yeah, I'm safe so I can talk shit. Yeah, yeah, but your cousins are getting that ass whooped at the border, and we ain't coming to save them. You dig? So that's where it is. And you're one of My the reasons. My cousins are actually coming through the border one by one safe. No, no, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. The musty niggas are getting stopped and turned back around. All right? Now, some of y'all foreigners, this is why y'all see FBAs ain't rocking with the cape with your little disrespectful ass tether relatives. They come over here like, yeah, I'm in here now. Fuck y'all niggas. It's that type of shit. You know, you, you, let, you put a ladder out to let somebody climb up and then they get up and then kick the ladder out. You little disrespectful, musty nigga. That's why your country is janky. Y'all got that same cutthroat, conniving ass mentality over in your homeland. That's why it's janky now. And that's why we don't want that in that mindset. We have more you, sovereignty than black Americans. You ain't got shit. You ain't got nothing. Asians over there whooping your ass now. You ain't got nothing, sir. That's why you over here in New York, somewhere that black folks cleared the brush for, eating off us, sir. Anyway, Baba Tunde, let me get you out of here. I don't want to hear tether babble. Yo, why you keep muting, bro? <laughs> out of here. I don't want to hear musty tether babble. All right. I don't want to hear about your palace back home and you got a whole herd of zebras in your front yard. I don't want to hear none of that bullshit. We don't want to hear it. Nigga, you are in a Section 8 apartment in Brooklyn working at Subway on the graveyard shift. All right. Chamo or Camo, hop on, man. Hey, Tariq, how you doing today? I'm good, man. Where you from? I'm, I'm from Venezuela. Okay, um, fine. And uh, but I do have a grandmother from from Alabama, and that's like my that's why I'm here. But I've been here. No, you don't. You ain't got no grandmother from Alabama. How the fuck you got a grandma from Alabama with that accent? That don't make no sense. Because my grandfather is from my grandfather's from from Venezuela, and he went to study in Georgia Tech, and they married, and then he took her to Venezuela, and then we didn't come here until the nineties. Well, nigga, how did Alabama come into play? They went to Georgia Tech. Okay, she went from from she she was from a small town, and she went to I forgot to say that part. She went to 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 Georgia, and that's how they end up they ended up meeting. But that shit is all over the damn place. Uh, that don't I, make no sense because you got a crazy ass accent. So you were born in Venezuela, right? Yeah, I'm from Venezuela. Yeah, that's why I say I'm from I'm from Venezuela, and then moved here to to Miami. Oh okay, all right. But I wanted to ask you if you, if you today I saw the movie um, Dolomite, but with Eddie Murphy. Did, yeah, you seen it? yeah, very good movie. Yeah, I thought it was a good movie, and and, and it felt that um, you know, from listening to to you and and the and the grassroots, I thought that they they brought up some some points from the grassroots to to the movie, like historical stuff, like when when they're in the old theater and they talk about. They mentioned how it was back in the day. It, it was popping, and then, and then you know, to uh, in in the in the press and in the movie, you know, it was a a, a rundown theater. So I thought it, I thought it was interesting, and and also they make a point to to show how uh, rapping is an FBA thing because they were like they they would be like a, you know rhyming. So I I I just thought it was um it, it was really cool. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you so much, bro. All right, okay. thank you. That's very random. Oh, okay. Very, very random. All right, Raven. Hop on, Raven. Yeah, how you doing, Tariq? What's going on, Raven? Yeah, just got to ask you a question. Um, what is the black culture today? Um, you know, when it comes to when it comes to youth, and um, you know, what what's the what's the black vision today? We see what's going on with um. The rap culture, you know, um, young black African American are being, um, you know, pretty much are glamorizing, you know, um, gang culture, and um, and we know also for a fact that it's because you have um, single mother that do have to raise their, you know, their child. Um, so so just wanted to ask you, what's the vision what, here for for, for the African American? What all the rappers glamor glamorizing the gang culture? Oh yeah, you do have all the rappers. Um, you know, if you want me to 
to sign names, I can actually go ahead and do that. Um, you have rappers like Lil Baby, Lil Durk, you know, which do have millions of followers, um, especially young kids um, being exposed to that. So what's the um, what's the what's the vision when it comes to that? Right now, when you see Lil Durk in concert, when you see a lot of these rappers who rap about gang or whatever, when you see them in concert, who are the majority of people you see in the audience? A lot of them are black and white, too. No, no. Most of them are white. When you look at these folks, they perform. The majority of their audiences are white. When they do these big concerts, these are major white audiences. So why does the white community like to see black people rap about gang culture so much? That's the question. Because if there's a market for it, there's going to be an avenue for it. And there's a market for white people wanting to hear about black people rapping about street shit. So why do they put so much money in it? Why do these white record labels and white media outlets and white audiences shill out so much money to hear black people rap about gang culture? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, we can we can talk about it, but I don't think they're white though because most of the um, you know, most of the uh, record music just, you just, just, a second. just go to a concert and see with your own eyes. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, you made a claim that, you know, most of the, um, you know, um, you know, music records and labels and stuff like that, they're owned by white people. Um, I mean, that is that is not a fact. They are owned by Jews. Right. So uh -oh. you do have a lot of Jews in those, you know, in those, you know, in those sector of the music. What's the difference between a Jewish white supremacist and an Anglo white supremacist? There is actually a difference because the that's Jews hate the white people. And What's uh, the difference? How to, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. There is a whole huge difference because I'll tell you this. The Jews consider the white and how the do they black. white people and they're classified as white? But you got to understand, this is actually a trick that they use. They never, they never, they'll never tell you that they're Jews. They'll act as white, but so in fact, they're Jews. So if they tell us and I don't know, then that means they're white. No, but they're not. I mean, here's the thing. You cannot well, then tell. What, what's a, what, what, then what makes a white person phenotypically white? What's the difference? You haven't told I mean, me the they're, difference. They're, all, you said, they're, they're all you said was their ideologies are, well, they, the Jews hate white people. Well, no. They, you have a they actually do. You have, why then if they hated white people, they wouldn't classify themselves as white. No, but you got to understand something. They needed to settle somewhere, right? And America was kind of like a safe haven for the Jews, right? So they settled here, and all you know, all they do is just pretend to be white, and it works. Actually, now, all Europeans did that. All Europeans needed a place to settle, and they came over here. So what are you talking about? Irish no. needed a place to settle. Italians needed a place to settle, then they became white. So what are you talking about? No, I'm sorry. Did you not become white? Because the Italians would tell you that they're Italians, right? No, 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 no. The Italians weren't considered white at first. They were considered white? No, they weren't. They were called guineas. Okay, cool. So is there any way you could tell me, like, any... Because you cl you made a claim that, you know... No, no let's slow down. Music let's slow records. Down. Let's slow down. Let's Go slow ahead. down. The Italians were not white at first. They were called guineas. A guinea was a term for, that's an African. That's what they were calling them. They were calling them Africans. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you, all the Europeans came over here because they wanted a better life because it wasn't popping in different parts of Europe and other parts of the world. It wasn't popping. They came over here and became white. So what's why are you singling Jewish people out? No, but I'm telling you, is is it wrong to say that? For example, do you know who? Like, I'll just give you an example, right? We know Atl Atlant Atlantic's records, right? That pretty much do have a lot of major artists. Do you know who who started? You know, Atlantic Atlantic's records. Somebody you have white. Any idea? Somebody white. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And who? this is why I'm telling you, you need to actually do some research. Who it was not white? Who, if he's not white, who? No, but he was funded by two people, right? Uh, and you had um, Ahmed Ergun, which was a Jew, which was uh, actually a Turkish. And you had someone like, you know, um, A.R. Green, right? Who was actually a Jew. So that is that is white. factually untrue. He was white. No, he was not. And all the people listening to us, you can go do some research about it. The man who founded Atlantic Records was white. What? What is his name? 
Wasn't that the Edagoon guy, Erdagoon, something like that? Exactly. Have you ever heard a white man being called the good? <laughs> Shit. Um, I haven't heard anybody's name Erdogan. I exactly. Heard so that that does not even sound like a white name. I mean, it's okay. That we'll learn every like day. A, You're learning like something. Today. I, don't I, don't, I don't know why you keep like just name. digging a I, hole I um, to yourself. Name. I don't know anybody who has that name, but this guy was white. No, he was not. Just go Google was it. What, what why was don't you, Why don't you want to Google it? I'm looking at his picture right now. He's a white man. What are you talking about? I'm looking at his photograph right now. It's a white man. His entire family is white. So what are you talking about? That is factually untrue. I, I'm sorry. So what was he then? If he's not white, I'm looking at him. But he's I'm a white telling man. You, you, have, you have two people that find it out in their records, right? Um, you know, you had one. You can't was... answer a straight... I didn't ask you five times if he's not white. What is he? And you're but I'm telling here, you, I'm, he's a Jew, and Jews are not considered white. Yes, he is white. That's why Jewish people no, could change their I... last name and blend in. What, okay, so so here's the thing. Now you now in I understand. Accent, I understand where you're you trying went, to go wait, to. Wait, no, no, in your accent. Where are you from? With your accent. Oh, with my accent. Oh, yeah, I'm African. What part of Africa? I'm from West Africa. West Africa. Yeah, absolutely. What part of West Africa? Uh, West Africa. What do you mean? What what part of what? Don't you now? You're trying to think of a place. Now you're trying to think of some place. No, you're not I'm not. I'm not trying to think. I'm telling you a fact. Why would I? Why would I think? I'm African. What, I told what, you, right? What, what dude? This is you not mean, a. You mean which country? Is that what dude, you were trying what, to say? You're trying to stall and think of something. What part of Africa are you from? <sighs> I told you West Africa. Now you're asking me which part. What now, part I'm, of West Africa? Like, what do you mean? Which country? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm from Senegal. How hard was that to say? But when you say which part, is there any way you could be more specific? Can you say which country? That was the that was the appropriate question. If somebody says what part, you're gonna if if somebody says what part of the United States I live in, I live in California. It's not a trick question. So when you say which part of West Africa, why couldn't you say which country? That would have been a whole lot. That would have been a whole lot easier, don't you think? Why didn't you just say Senegal at first, sir? <sighs> okay. He just could have said Senegal. Yeah, but it's all good. So, what does that have to do with the conversation, though? I mean, we're having a fine conversation here. Yeah, but you're talking about white people and Jews are different, and you haven't explained why. So, so let me ask you a question. So you are considering, so basically I understand what you're trying to say. Like they all do look, they all be looking white, right? So let me ask you this question. Do you think African-American and, you know, are considered black, right? So do you think um, Africans are blacks too or not? Are you black? Yeah, I'm black, but you don't think I'm a black, right? I don't know what you look like. Yeah, I'm a dark skin man. Then you you're black. I'm black. Then you're black. All right, cool. So, why do you have the majority of African American that don't consider Africans or black as black? The majority? What kind yeah. of lie? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I've I've met a lot. Like I'm I'm being totally honest here. I've met a lot. Yeah. So you're you're here in the Americas now. What part of the United States you live in? I live in Arkansas. Okay. And what tribe are you from in Senegal, by the way? What what part is your what tribe is your family from? I'm a Fulani, but let me ask you this question: um, Which part of America um, are you from? I'm from Detroit, and Alabama. I oh, got you. So, which part? Which part? Like you know, I mean, which tribe are you from? What tribe? I'm from the foundation of Black American tribe. What 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 is your language in that tribe? Um, Tutnis. Do you speak that? Yeah, we speak it. We speak it all the time, and we write it to each other all the time. Uh, in fact, every time I end my broadcast, I say "Papi Akute Lullabuwe" to the family all the time. 
Yeah, but is there any way you could speak fluently right now, like not just like, you know, single words? Like, can you speak that language fluently? Like, I could, but part of the language, and this is the great part of Tutnis, we ain't supposed to teach it to anybody. That's you're part not of the to, You're not supposed to teach that to anybody? No, not to outsiders, no. That's part of the code of the language. We're not supposed to teach it to outsiders. Yeah, man, you know, that is crazy. Like, like you, for example, today, if you go to Africa, right, and if you go, for example, to Ghana and you want to speak, like, you know, any other, you know, language there, they would be very open to teach you. But wh why is it that you cannot even speak that language fluently and you're making a claim that, you know, it's kind of like a secret type code? It doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense about that? Because you can't even speak the language that you're considering like a secret code type. I can. Think that is kind Not of... only can I do it, me, some of the foundation of Black Americans here, we can type it to each other. We can we can have whole text conversations with each other and completely understand each other all the time. But we don't we don't teach other people the language. That's part of the code. You don't teach it to other people. If you go to my Twitter feed, and you know, in fact, we have an FBA group. You can't even get in the group unless you answer some of the questions that's written in Tutnese. So how would you say how would you say in Tutnese, you cannot even speak that language fluently? Um, I'm not here to teach you that. I'm not here to teach you that. Oh, I thought you were going to answer my questions. I mean, I've been answering your questions, though. So. No, 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 no. We don't teach people Tutnese. You're supposed to keep it secret. I mean, that's... you don't teach that. It's because you probably just don't know how to speak it. Well, maybe I don't, Dan. How about that? But you're not going to learn it. I'm not teaching it to you. I'm going to talk yeah, to... Yeah, I'm, I'm not really and... interested, to be honest. Can, <clears throat> but, but can you tell me what? how much is the deodorant in Fulani? Oh, do you want me to tell you how much is it? Yeah, tell what me do, how... What, what, do you, what do you mean? Why do you... Say do you how, much is the, how much is the deodorant in Fulani? Uh, deodorant, Kojelo. Okay. I spoke it. I just okay. spoke it. And a lot of the Fulani language has Arabic accents in it. No, a lot of us don't. So if you're not familiar with um, Fulani, you got to understand the way I speak Fulani and the way um, people in Cameroon speak Fulani. We don't even have the same accent, to be honest. And the words are kind of different. So the way people speak Fulani in Niger would be different than the one they speak in Nigeria, which would be different than the way they speak in Mali. But we can understand each other to a certain extent, uh, but we don't, we don't have the same extent. So you claiming that... We do have an Arabic type accent, I think. That's just a but lot. some of those some but do some of that language, that Fulani language, a lot of it is codified around Arabic, sir. No, that is not true. Absolutely not. Uh, I mean you can make that claim. I pr I probably could give it to you. I'm not gonna lie, because look, um, for example, French, I'll just give you an example of French, right? It comes from Latin. But, you know, if you speak Latin and you hear French, it's totally different. So I could give it to you. I don't know, brother. I don't know. Uh, sir, you guys were um, colonized by the Arabs at one point and the French at another point. But, dude, that full language has a lot. Arabic, sir. I don't know why you're saying that it doesn't. It is very well known that so, it does. So which word, which word in Arabic that there's you do have in Fulani? Oh, man, there's a lot of different ones, but I, I right, know. Tommy. Tommy, just one. Oh, dude, I don't, I don't, I don't know the language. Exactly. So I'm how are you, how can you claim something I know, that you have no I know idea where about? It come, but I That's, know where the influences come from. Yeah, but I mean, how can you claim something and now I'm telling you to bring me proof I, and you have no idea. That's, that's Arabic. being... That's not being honest, to be honest. But you you sat here and said that it it's not, uh, it doesn't have any Arab influences, and that's a lie. What you yeah, just said was all I told you. I told you to, I gave you the example, and I said I could give it to you. For example, if you take Latin, right? French comes from Latin, but if you speak Latin and you speak French, it sounds totally different. And that's what I said. I could give it to you. Now you made the claim that you do have Arabic words in Fulati. Now I'm telling you which one, and you fail to provide anyone. So don't you think that was kind of like a lie, though? No, it's not a lie, sir. I I don't speak the language, and I don't want to. 
um, misspeak the language. I, I, don't I understand, speak... but if you don't speak a language, why do you make claim about that language if you have no idea about that language? Uh, I do understand that it came from Arabic. A lot of it comes from Arabic, sir. I do understand that. I, that's what I need to know right there. That's enough right there. Yeah, I, I, I agreed hundred percent with you, but right. I'm just I just and, don't and, agree and, with and the so fact what, that you, you said you want me to you have you Arabic language in Fulani. You want me to name a specific word? That's kind of a non sequitur. We've already established that the language. Um, a lot of it is borrowed from Arabic. We've already established that. Okay, I, the name of certain words. So yeah, that's yes. in I, I, I agree with you, and I said I could give it yeah, to you. I was that's honest. Basically, that's almost like a deflection. It's it's a non sequitur. I can no, say no. It. I was I was honest with you, and I told you I could give it to you. Now, after that, you made a claim that you do. There is words, Arabic words in Fulani. You made that claim. Everyone heard that. Right, but you sat here exactly and said so now. I told you, bring me so one, and you said you, you don't know. Lie about it. So you've already established that what I first you tried to lie, and then I said, Hey man, no, that there are a lot of borrowed words, and the language is really codified by Arabic. Uh, yeah, yeah, I give that to you, but can you name one? Uh, no, but that's what I said. I too, I gave you an and I got, I got some people texting me. Listen, somebody said Emiru, so people are kind of texting me some stuff now. The word Salat and Juma and pe people are texting me some of the words now. So you got to yeah. understand Salat and Juma does not have to do nothing with Fulani. It's like actually here? it's actually a Muslim. It's actually a Muslim type of, you know, type thing, right? Again, dude, the Fulani language, again, borrows a lot from Arabic. But but your language, where does that where does that come from? I'm actually interested. What do you mean, my language? What are you talking about? I mean the language that you said and, uh, that you told me earlier that was kind of like a secret, um, you know, for the outsiders. Um, where where does it come from? It comes from us. We made it up. Who started it? Is there any way you could give me the person that started our language? That's not a legitimate question. What one person started the language? What's the one person who started Arabic? What's the one person who started English? What's the one person who started Portuguese? Come on, what? So, that's, so that's yeah, yeah. So you, let me, yeah, you, you're a, right. You're right. Question. But but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, that's a bad uh, faith question. No, no. But he, here's the thing. Um, I'll give it to you. But my whole point was I probably didn't ask the question properly. Um, who were the per the first person um, or persons that, that that spoke the language? Is there any way you could give me like you know um, dude, year and date stuff like that? Dude, what kind of question is that? Who's the first person who started a language? What kind of question is that? No, who were the first people that started speaking the language? Like foundation uh, black Americans. That's who. Like like which year? Is there any way you could give me the approximate date? What day were you born? Now you're deflecting. <laughs> that, that, that was a, hey, that was a smart move. Though. That's a ridiculous question you asked me. That's a ridiculous question. I, what I was born in 94. You see, I'm answering the question. Can you answer mine? You guys don't even have birthdays that you can verify. And you're going to oh, ask God. me about which one uh, of the It's a like, non sequitur. Look, look, now you see, like, you know, when I ask you a tough question. Faith, because now you're asking, you're just saying shit in bad faith. You don't really have an argument. So you're just saying shit. What year did the language start? Don't nobody know. We don't know when, when did the Fulani language start? When did Arabic start? That's a non sequitur. You just, you don't have an argument. So you're just kind of saying shit. And people do that when they don't really have an argument. Right? All right, yeah, yeah, Tariq, let, um, let me ask you this question, look. And let me ask you this, sir. What's your written language? Isn't Fulani basically written in Arabic and Latin? <clears throat> no, Fulani can be, um, you know, can be written. We do have our own, you know, alphabet, right? But today... What's the alphabet? Um, What's the script? What's the alphabet? The Fulani alphabet. Go look it up. So basically today, um, you know, Fulani is when we text... Um, let's say if you're in China, you type Fulani in Chinese, right? So if you are here in America and use ABCDs, right, you type Fulani in ABCDs, right? 
but but let me ask you this question. There is let, no, let me, what, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this question here. Let me ask you this question here. So no, basically, no, 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 no. But I wanted to ask you a question first. No, 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 because you're trying to deflect. You're trying to run. No, 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 no. No, wasn't I? Wasn't I supposed to ask you a question first? No, 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 no. The Fulani alphabet is Adlam, right? But you said he was Arabic. No, it's some of it is Arabic, but then it's Adlam. So you said you have a full. No, no, you don't have a full. You don't have a Fulani. Alphabet. So, what so you, why, why did you say why did you say it was Arabic? <laughs> okay, so you're you're lying. So you you basically <laughs> so basically you made a false claim that it was Arabic. No, I didn't. No, you you just did. Boy, you uh, the family. I want the family to listen to this. How how these tethers be lying? He said there was a Fulani alphabet. It's not a Fulani alphabet. It doesn't exist. So and they look, use look, I, and, and they use they use different scripts. Like Arabic, which is true, Latin, which is true, and Adlam. There is no Fulani alphabet. This but, guy but sat here on this phone. You got to understand something. You got to understand something. And I or, encourage people listening to family, us. FBA family, this is why I'm having him on here this long, so you can see how casually these tethers will sit here and lie. But, but why, why don't you let people go right now on Google and type Fulani alphabet? Do you think that alphabet resembles yeah. any sort of other alphabet? It's from the Adlam script. It's not <laughs> what is it? What is what is Adlam script? You have no idea about it. What is it? Dude, basically a form of Arabic. Exactly. You're just going on Google and typing and typing nothing. Like you, no, you that have just no proved idea what, what I is said it about. initially. That just proved what I said initially. <clears throat> I said your script is Arabic. Oh no, it's Fulani alphabet. And then look at Fulani alphabet. It's Adlam script, which it's, is Arabic. It's not Arabic. So, it's, so it's, it's let, let, me, my point. let me ask you a question. Which, how many, okay. how I, many I, letters I, do you have in, in Arabic language? Damn. Okay, that's enough. I'm not going to punish y'all. Just a lying tether. This is why, family, this is why you got to cross-check these tethers. Boy, they be lying their asses off. <laughs> Boy, they be lying their asses off. I said to this guy, hey, man, your script, your written language is basically in Arabic. No, no, no. We got a Fulani alphabet. You can look it up. You look it up. It's the Adlam Arabic script. Oh, well, hey, nigga. What about black on black crime, nigga? <laughs> Boy, he was deflecting all over the place. <laughs> Good freaking grief. This is why we don't spend too much time really, I don't like to waste too much time arguing with lying tethers because they lie their asses off, boy. The tethers be lying. My goodness. From the culture of the American South, where roots hold stories, comes a natural deodorant inspired by generations of wisdom. Introducing Rootwork, the all-natural foundational Black American-based deodorant infused with the magic of High John the Conqueror root. Our unique blend enriched with this legendary root offers 24-hour protection rooted in the power of nature. Embrace this deodorant that celebrates culture history, and your well-being. Unlock the magic of root work today. Experience the pure essence of nature. Visit rootworkstyle.com and make the switch to a healthier cultural choice. <laughs> 